Good evening, YouTubers. The new time travel, Jaime88. I'm back with another DVD review. And tonight, I'm going to do another family movie review. Since this is the month of December, I'm going to do my Christmas movies on DVDs reviewing. So tonight, I am going to review The Santa Claus. Yes, The Santa Claus is a very funny film. And I love this movie. I've seen it 10 times on television and also on cable too. Yep, it's a very fun film to watch. Anyway, before I start this review, I would like to give a quick shout out to Leah Baker. Leah Baker, if you're watching this, your videos are super awesome. Keep up the good work and make sure to check out her channel on YouTube. Now... Let's get on to this week's review. Now, the Santa Claus is the story of Scott Calvin, who is divorced, and he is an advertisement and executive and works in a toy company in Chicago. Along with his son, Charlie, younger son, excuse me, played by Eric Lloyd, at the Christmas presentation, so, Charlie promised to spend a night with Scott Calvin on Christmas Eve before going to his mother and stepfather for Christmas Day. So, despite not believing himself, after reading a storybook, they discovered that a clatter on a roof and, and Scott calls find out a trespasser. He walked outside and saw the Santa Claus Slip and fall into the snow and on Scott's front yard and begins to vanish. His clothes just leave behind. And it's one of my favorite scenes. He's naked. He's naked. <laughs> so anyway, so Scott decided to put on the Santa suit and flies all over the, into different houses to drop the presents. And then they discovered that. The new Santa, they follow their instructor and lead all the children around the world to finish the house Santa's delivery. So the meanwhile, in the morning, as they arrive in the North Pole, that's when it, the elves take them down inside the real North Pole, and that's when Bernard, the head of Elf, played by David Crumholz, and shows Scott the tiny little description on a card it says you put on the suit and take a fully responsibility of Santa Claus and upon the disappearance of the previous Santa Claus however they agreed to assume the identity of Santa Claus but if it didn't work there will be no Santa Claus so Judy showed up with Santa and gives him a delicious hot cocoa. So after that 11 months, return home on Thanksgiving. So they're back home in Santa's room and waking up there and they think about there's a dream. And that's why they tell them in so and tell in school. So something's very strange next day over the next year. As Scott Calvin began to gain weight, and his hair is whitened with a beard on it, and he tried to shave it off, but it seems the beard started to grow back. And then he's eaten all the f Christmas type foods, and so they sent a Scott to the doctor. And one of my favorite scenes says, "You put on a little weight, a little weight. It just looks like a little weight to you." <laughs> So, Scott became outraged, and that's when he saw, before that, an army tank. So, his ex-wife, Lord, and her husband discovered concern about Charlie and his disguise as, like, a Santa. Unfortunately, Scott's visiting to see Charlie is suspended pending the new year, the visitation rights. 
So Scott is indeed Santa. So they take him both up to the North Pole. And they think that Scott kidnaps Charlie and then call the police. Back at the North North Pole, they discovered how to air prepare for Christmas as police on the lookout for Charlie. And they set a trap at Laura and Neil's house. And Scott has been arrested while making his delivery, his card. So, the four elves stands for Elite Liberating Fly Squad began to rescue Scott and Charlie and return them to Laurel and Neil. As Scott began to say goodbye to Charlie as delivered the present but wanted children but never received. So, at the end, Laurel got a Christmas, a mystery day game, and Dr. Neil got the weenie whistle. So after that, Scott came back. The magic snow globe and takes him for a ride on a sleigh. As they two say goodbye, they headed for Cleveland. So my thoughts of the Santa Claus. It's a very good film. It's very heartwarming. And it's one of the best holiday movies of 1994. The Santa Claus, I love it, and I enjoy this movie, and I give this uh, movie 10 out of 10. Okay, let's take a look at this cover. Here's Scott, and here's Charlie, and there's all the Christmas. And this is the widescreen edition. Here's the front, the spine, and the back. Wonderful, good family fun, says ABC TV. And some production stills. Now that's the publicity stunt right there. That's the behind the scenes. Anyway, special features include So You Want to Be an Elf, Santa's Help, a trivia game, Making Santa Snacks with Wolfgang Puck, plus some DVD ROM features, and so forth. And there's no theatrical trailers. And let me um, open up. And here's the disc for the Santa Claus. Yes, that's the DVD disc. And there are some scene selections right there. Yep. And it's in paper, not laminated. I also got the Santa Claus on VHS as well. I I got that movie. So, um, guys, um, do not request me to do a VHS review of the Santa Claus because I already reviewed this movie. Okay? All right. So, that's it for this week's review. And, yep, see you guys next family movie collection video. See you next time and take care.